am pleased to welcome you to Westminster College's commencement exercises. Before we begin, we acknowledge Utah's indigenous populations, the Goshute, Diné, Navajo, Paiute, Shoshone, and Ute peoples. I ask you to join me in acknowledging these communities, their elders, both past and present, as well as future generations. We acknowledge their stewardship of Utah's lands through many generations. Please stand and remain standing for the national anthem. The national anthem will be performed by student members of the Westminster College Choir. Please be seated. And as you will, I invite you to open your hearts with me in prayer. Source of life known to us in varied ways in this moment, as we settle into this fresh morning, we welcome a sense of sacred presence as we begin. And as we celebrate the remarkable achievements of those whose names will be called as they are invited to step across this threshold today. Lord, we gather in joy, with relief, and with gratitude to you for all that has helped forge a Westminster degree for these students, for their care and curiosity, their determination and sacrifices, God, for the way they have blessed this community with their presence. We're grateful for the devotion and the creativity of their families, their friends, their mentors, our faculty and staff, all who have made their education unique and life-giving. May these who cross into a future as Westminster College graduates today know a special calling, a calling to live into their accomplishments as whole persons. May each be blessed with sufficient and surprising courage and imagination that they might mark this world in meaningful ways not only with their learned competence, but with actions and attitudes that engender peace, justice, and compassion beyond measure. Source of future hope, endow this new beginning with your wild grace. May it spread within each of us that we might journey beyond old limits into the wonder and the worthy work of this coming day. To your glory. Amen. Thank you. 
On behalf of Westminster College, the Board of Trustees, faculty, staff, and alumni, I welcome you to our 2022 commencement exercises. Several individuals who have made great investments in the education of our students are with us today. First, I'd like the chair of our Board of Trustees, Preston Chiaro, to stand and be recognized. I'd also like the Board of Trustees to stand and be recognized. As is the custom at Westminster College, I would also like to ask that the academic administrators and other administrators at the college please rise and stand to be recognized, members of the cabinet, academic administrators. As is also our custom, I would like to invite all of our military veterans, ROTC cadets among our graduates, and all of the service members and veterans we have here today to rise so that we may honor you for your service. Please rise. Finally, would the faculty present here today stand and be recognized? These individuals have had an incredible impact on the students here today, helping to shape their lives and preparing them for lifelong success. Many of us have waited, hoped, perhaps prayed for this day, this moment of recognition. Commencement marks a beginning a level of achievement and personal growth in preparation for a life well lived. Wherever they go, whatever their pursuits, these students will always be Griffins and this will always be their home. Our Master of Ceremonies is the Chief Academic Officer of the College, responsible for ensuring the academic quality of the institution. At this time, I invite Provost Debbie Tomasipi to the podium to conduct today's ceremonies. One of the most important parts of our ceremony is our tradition to have one graduate selected by faculty, staff, and students to speak on behalf of all graduating students. Please join me in welcoming this year's undergraduate student speaker, Obai Baraksai. Assalamu alaikum, hola, ciao, shalom, hello. Good morning, Board of Trustees, President Dobkin, college leadership, faculty, staff, distinguished guests, family, friends, and of course, the graduating class of 2022. I first would like to encourage you to take a moment to think about how far you have come to recognize your hard work, acknowledge the struggles that you went through during a global pandemic, and most importantly, to celebrate you. Like many of you, I remember my first day at Westminster. I was sitting down in one of those maroon-looking chairs in front of Converse. I was lost, quite flabbergasted, <laughs> thanks TikTok for the term, and so ready to take a nap literally anywhere on the grass. So the big hot tea person that I am, I decided to walk to this building called Basses to get myself a beautiful cup of tea. And guess what? They put ice in it. And I was like, uh, thanks. So I left Basses just a little bit more confused and thought maybe iced tea isn't that bad. Just don't tell my mom that. <laughs> but let's be honest, my presence on this stage is very unlikely. I was born and raised in one of the most oppressed and disadvantaged places on Earth, Afghanistan. As a kid, my toys were small bullet cartridges and my dreams of survival were nestled in uncertainty. I grew up in a small, crowded, three-bedroom apartment in Kabul with no television because we couldn't afford one. And in our living room, we had these two mid-sized glass windows. Through the one on the right, I would watch my neighbor's kids watching Tom and Jerry at night making me laugh hysterically, like, ha, ha, ha. 
through the one on the left, I would watch explosions happening and say prayers for the victims. I always lived in the dual reality of hope and despair, between a window full of laughter, joy, peace, and the harsh realities of life. The reality that I may not be alive the next day if I simply walk to a grocery store to pick up non for my family. And that's life. Having been born in war and having grown up in war, it took me a while to realize that war was not the real danger. The true threat was staying behind that window in my own bubble while holding on to the belief that I was born in war and therefore I was a product of war. The belief that a backward desert dwelling Muslim immigrant and a low income first generation student of color cannot get an education, let alone be seen in these spaces and thrive. And clearly, that's not true, thanks to Westminster. Now, some of us came to Westminster from thousands of miles away, like myself, some from out of state, and some who just wanted to change cities or even neighborhoods, because we knew that no matter our majors, career choices, or the size of our bubbles, Westminster had a place for all of us. Westminster enabled us to not only look at hope and despair through our windows, but to pop our bubbles by going out there and taking actions that challenge and transform systems for the better. And as a result, we're standing here today on the precipice of the future as compassionate, global-minded peacemakers ready to change the world. With a liberal and interdisciplinary education, Westminster challenged us to be intellectually fearless. With a strong focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion, Westminster taught us that our courage to speak up and do something positive has to be bigger than our fear of being silent, of getting hurt. But at small classroom settings where professors knew our names, which contributed to a tight-knit community, Westminster allowed us to develop skills and foster connections that will last a lifetime. Westminster taught us to call people into conversations instead of calling people out so that we can collectively challenge racism, discrimination, and falsely alienating and dehumanizing systematic narratives. In one way or another, we all remember those moments where we would find ourselves still engaging in conversations even after our class sessions ended. This is because Westminster created a safe and inclusive space where learning isn't limited to just classrooms or workspaces and that no matter our journey, we will utilize what we learned at Westminster to fight injustice everywhere and knowing that we can always rely on Westminster community for support. As we have found, Westminster is the only place where our individual stories have been made possible, where the dream of an illiterate and deaf mother to see her son graduate through a war-torn TV screen has been made possible, where the dream of six indigenous Braggsite generations to see a Braggsite graduate for the first time, where the dream of a Muslim to only find himself learning among students of all religious backgrounds and walks of life, and the dream of a low-income first-generation student of color who can courageously and unapologetically say that I was born in war, but I'm not a product of war. You may or you may not know what you're gonna do after graduation, and that's okay. But one thing I need you to know is that you're running off the energy of hope to keep on popping those bubbles and windows and letting the world see what a griffin is capable of doing. I would like to end my speech by thanking my family in Afghanistan who are watching us live while holding on to hope for a better future, to my friends and families and the Legacy Program for making all this possible. Thank you, thank you so much. And lastly, as you walk out of this ceremony today and continue work on your dreams, I want you to think of this quote from my mom. If you have a full cup of tea in front of you, it's not about finishing it as soon as you can. It's about enjoying taking that one sip at a time. And this applies to iced tea as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. Data Manana, congratulations once again. Thank you. I feel like we all need to raise our hot cup <laughs> and take a virtual sip. <laughs>
Thank you. Obaid has been a stellar student who exemplifies the possibilities of a Westminster education. In addition to honoring our students through a commencement address, we also take this opportunity to announce four recipients of faculty awards. These faculty have achieved exceptional levels of excellence in their own scholarly work, as well as in mentoring and instructing our graduates. Please come to the podium when I announce your name. Each year, the college awards the Manford A. and June Shaw Publication Award to the member of the faculty whose published or exhibited work best represents the faculty's scholarly and professional activities. We have two recipients this year. The first Manford A. and June Shaw Publication Award winner is Dr. Natasha Saye. I know she's not here, but I'm going to accept this on her behalf and say that Dr. Sai is a faculty member in English, and this award is for her article in the Writer's Chronicle entitled The Iceberg of Ageism. Congratulations to Dr. Sai. The second Manfred A. and June Shaw Publication Award winner is Dr. John Watkins. Dr. Watkins is a faculty member in economics. I keep talking. And this award is for his article in the Journal of Economic Issues entitled, The Policy Response to COVID-19, The Implementation of Modern Monetary Theory. I now call on Danny Giovanni, Board of Trustees, to present the Gore Excellence in Teaching Award. The Gore Excellence in Teaching Award is presented each year to a Westminster faculty member who demonstrates impassioned teaching and active learning. The awardee shows a commitment to improve teaching effectiveness in relating to and encouraging students in their learning and excellence in the classroom, laboratory, or clinical setting. The Gore Excellence in Teaching Award awardee is selected by their peers. This year's award winner goes to Dr. Robin Hyde, Professor of Chemistry. Join, please join me in congratulating Dr. Hyde for her great achievements at Westminster College. The Adjunct Faculty Excellence in Teaching Award is made to an adjunct faculty member who has been nominated by a peer for demonstrated excellence in teaching through a commitment to improve teaching and effectiveness in supporting student learning. The Adjunct Faculty Excellence in Teaching Award goes to Lauren Comfort, Adjunct Faculty in Chemistry. I now call on Preston Chiaro, Chair of the Board of Trustees, to present the Trustees Character Award. Thank you, Debbie. Good morning. The Trustees Character Award is given to a graduating student that has shown exemplary service to the greater community. The student models the core values of Westminster College and has been a positive role model for their peers with, a, with at least a cumulative 3.0 GPA. This year's recipient is Sophia K. Caligiri. Sophia, could you, <laughs> could you work your way up here? Yes. 
<clears throat> so if you'll allow me to talk a little on Sophia, her nominator said this about her. Sophia exemplifies being a leader through her role in the Dumpke Center, while also in her activities through the campus in such areas as the Honors College, the Writing Center, and in Legacy Scholars. Her legacy director had the following to say of Sophia. Sophia is, without exception, one of the brightest and most motivated first-generation students I've ever worked with. In all of these activities, Sophia has demonstrated her skills as a leader, someone who is self-effacing, though enthusiastic, articulate, yet accessible, and energetic, yet not overbearing. <laughs> These qualities draw others to her side and will serve her well after her college days. Sophia was this year's student winner of the Martin Luther King Unsung Hero Award for her commitment to inclusion work in our community. And it was a popular choice among those of us committed to this work on our campus. Sophia, congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> As president, I have the honor of presenting the President's Leadership Award. The President's Leadership Award is given to a graduating senior with at least a 3.0 cumulative GPA and has demonstrated outstanding leadership at Westminster. The nominee's influence, ideals, and activities have raised the standard of excellence and left a positive, lasting, enviable legacy. This year's awardee is Obadullah Barakzai. Obai. <laughs> Obaid was nominated by several faculty and staff members who spoke very highly of him and all he has done at Westminster College and in the world beyond the college. His leadership in the classroom is a large part of why he was nominated. As president of ASW in the 2020-21 school year, Obaid managed $20,000 in COVID relief funds for our students and $18,000 in funds for a food security initiative in order to address the concerns of food insecurity in students. In addition to being ASW president, he has also worked with the Global Peace and Spirituality Office to organize workshops of different cultures, religions, social issues, faith, and acceptance for the Westminster community. Obaid has also been a leader in the community at large. He has recently been interning at the Utah Democratic Party, has networked and hosted fundraising events as an intern, and in general, even though this isn't on the script, he's an overall fantastic person. So Obaid, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you so much. The Neeson R. Bank Memorial Award has been given annually since 1953. It's presented to a graduating senior who is a first generation college student. This individual has demonstrated tenacity and drive in achieving their degree. They've demonstrated academic excellence in learning and or research. Additionally, they've embodied, embodied Westminster's core values, academic excellence, respect for diverse people and perspectives, collaboration and teamwork, and personal and social responsibility. The Bank family have committed to giving the student awardee a watch each year. We thank them for their continued support of our students. This year's recipient is Mariana Espinoza Lugo. Marianne is an intelligent, diligent, hardworking geology major who takes her work and research very seriously. Marianne's research passions have already taken her to national conferences and classrooms where she helped to develop a virtual field trip of volcanoes for Utah secondary teacher. 
She's proud of the legacy she's creating as a first-generation student and has inspired not just her fellow first-gen scholars at Westminster, but also her younger sister, who's a freshman at Westminster this year. <laughs> Please. I was going to say, please join me in congratulating Mariana, but we could do that again. <laughs> All of the students we've just honored are clearly exceptional people. Yet at Westminster, we have the good fortune of having a college full of dedicated and impressive students. Every one of the graduates here today has left their mark on our campus and is ready to make their mark on the world. Thank you. <laughs> now we come to the heart of the ceremony, the conferring of degrees on our students. I invite Preston Chiaro, Chair of the Board of Trustees, and President Dopkin to join me at the podium. We will award degrees to those students completing their undergraduate education. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts, Honors Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Business Administration, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Science, and Honors Bachelor of Science please rise? That's you. <laughs> President Dobkin, I am pleased to present to you the 2022 graduates who have fulfilled the requirements established and who are eligible to receive their bachelor's degrees. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and deans, confirmed by the Westminster Board of Trustees, and under the authority of the laws of the state of Utah, I confer upon you the degree you have earned with the responsibilities, rights, and privileges hereto. We will now call you to the stage individually. Please be seated. Travis Anthony English. Kelly Malin Gottberg. Megan Lee Van Leeuwen. Kaylin Cardle Clayton. Branson Carlisle Blackner. Matthew James Kitzman. Braden James Johnson. Richard Zachary Schmidt. Denise Zivkovich.
Emma Lynn Alstrom. Wyatt Emmett Bringhurst. Deborah Catherine Costa. Andrea Skeeters Hall. Chelsea N. Anawi. William Payne Harvey. Cami Berger. Athena Gabrielle Pantages. Alejandro Bonilla. Maria Angel Katsakathis. Cordelia Jane Latham. <laughs> Obaidullah Baraksai. <laughs> Sabria Jacobs. Liam Michael O'Connell. Gable Jones. Abigail Alice Mangum. Hunter Ash Krebs. Eden Zena Freiburg. Catherine Jameson Thielen. Isaac Kendall Hedrick. Alec Benjamin Williams. Spencer Ryan Winery. Quinn Emmanuel Lewis. Roman Pavlovich Pepeliev. Dylan Robert Brower. Gabriel Marshall Mean. Donald Joseph Gennetti the third. Easton Al 
Cooper. Andoni Odenkrantz. Gavin Michael Bielman. <laughs> Brinley Teresi. Cody L. Martino. Eileen Suzanne Schwab. Ashley Ray Nye. Kamaya Elizabeth Peterson. Sophie Rose Killalay. Briley Isabel Stone. McKenna May Ring. Autumn Satterley. Taylor Shaley Smith. Sierra Rain Ward. Emily Laga. Aspen Brooke Martinez. Gavin Steve Dickamore. Katie Ann Perry. <laughs> Gertrude Hope. Lien Olivia Kupo. <laughs> Bailey K. Johnson. <laughs> Annalie Eliza Briscoe. <laughs> Megumi. My Takushi. Nathan Aleman. Adriana Ramona Franco. Brooklyn Ariana Covington. Madison Alicia Covington. Chrissia Alvarez. Juling Shin. Adir Hazut. Richard 
John Getty. Andrew James Ross. Molly McBride Daly. Lauren Grace Kobabe. Peter Grinnell Frank. <laughs> Hannah Scott Rohr Fitzhugh. Christian Carter Christensen. Ahmad Abu Alful. Andrea Cornette. Catherine Curtis. Gaby Baby Smith. <laughs> Bianca Quigley. Chen Liu. Joseph Michael Barlow. Christopher Wade Mangini. Chantel Kaylee Meads. Tenzin Dechen. Mackenzie Ann Rowe. Valeria Heredia Rivas. Alondra Miranda. Christina Marie Bryan. Anna Elise Slattery. Eli Shin McCoy Johnson. Channing Takeo Gibbs. Morgan Jean Nicholson. CK Valle Padayo. Laney 
Scuturini. Felicity Lynn Inky. Natalie Salter Walgren. Dylan Kayoko Cook. Peter James Ball. Mariana Jazbek Espinosa Lugo. Nicole Fraser. Katie Marie Culver. Madison Faith Hooper. Maxwell Walter Mertz. Finn Rachel Irina Manning. Julia Costanza Correa. Winter Katrina Mindnick. John Philip Brindle. Jake Thomas Wagner. Lauren Bree Paris. Grace Mainani Garso. Madeline Joe Bernasic. Michael Rose. Dylan, I love you, Mom, Wakeland. That's the man's given name. Abigail Ann Keeley. Colin James Horman. So so Dominique Estrada. <laughs> Sochil Lopez Olea. Marley Gatherum. Justin Pauran Ebarra. Jack Alden Stewart. Dylan Matthew Wolf. Taylor Alexander Baum. Leo Gruder.
Alex Carly Lynn Edmonds. Dante Xavier Claver. Hannah Marie Bartnicki. Gray Caputo Rung. Jaden Richards. Yeah. Emily Madeline Kitterer. Yeah. Sarah D. Peel. Madeline Ann Elledge. Emma Dorothy Gilmore Halley. <laughs> Catherine Ruth Slick. Catherine Francis Jaycox. Parker Robert Nielsen. Ashton Jeanette Marcou. Brendan Jacob Sudbury. Jasmine Archuleta. Olivia Elizabeth Radcliffe. Peyton Lee Hudson. Brene Mariana Bram. Olivia Grace Beverly. Tabitha Ruth Edson. Haley K. Nate. Timor Charles Tripp. Megan Lisa Fotheringham. Shiley K. Bench. <laughs> Kiara. Ashley Saavedra. Sierra Noel Metzger. Jarrett Two J's Jordan. Marco J. Stetich. Cole Porterfield. Samuel James Staub. Spencer.
Spencer Barclay Jones. Zachary Edward Nelson. Turner Keats Peterson. Avery Scottman Higgins Lopez. Connor McQuinn Conkling. Sasha Elizabeth Alta Richter. Maddie Flynn Harper. Miley Rose Kilmer. Jessland Annie Carlin Mater Dagny Catherine Donahue Sophie W. Gropner Ella Luis Vesters. Brigham O. Francis. Awesome. Isaac David Kasurik Orr. Jasper Elias Kenneth Ladkin. Absolutely. Jesse Studak Stein. Theodore John Charlton. Dr. Kate Lauren Mackin. Cicely Ray Foley. Amy Rochelle Klein. Addison Marie Scanlon. Mohammed Azuabi. Hunter Lindsay Benson. Carla Arancibia. Janessa Jamo. Riley Ginger Hayes. Katrina Bernardino Panotes. Dwayne Orlando Robert Worrell. Woo! 
Dion D. Saxby. Macario Garcia. Annette Tegel. Jose Alvarez. Fatima Liseth Santos Benitez. Reagan Marie Vigil. Dawood Ahmed Moomin. Benjamin Jerome Davis the second. Abigail May Sandoval. Zoe J. Corianus. Aurora Elizabeth Allen. Leighton Shad Hansen. Johnson. Shartea Anisha Creer. Alex Wong. Amias Marcus Shields. Mao Dene Brinley. Lucy Victoria Wilkes. Nea Rose Christensen. Aaron Elizabeth McKinnis. Joseph Gordon Richardson. Tate Lewis Michener. Stephen Bentley. <laughs> Melissa Elaine Brown. <laughs> Johanna Byers. <laughs> Olivia Michelle Colton. Kelsey Jean Ammon. Kristen Lynn Webb. Madison Nellie Cushing.
Kathy Lynn Taylor. Casey Eva Carter. Sage Stewart. Abigail Hagen. Jared Asher Gerard. Jordan Nicole McFeely. Emma Jane Rankin. Adia Ann Matthews. Parker Ori Hansen. Andrew Barrett. Michaelis Lyons. Kira Liliana Wellington. Sarah K. White. Alexandra Danielle Best. Haley Christine Robinson. Chad Eduardo Swim. Megan Darlene Bianucci. Ashlyn Valente. Olivia Lynn Sutton. Miel Franco Perez. Faith Fox Staley. Anthony Giorgio. Emery Dodge Hovermail. Bailey Willis. Mohammed Abdi Elmi. Samantha Angelica Paredes. Hannah N. Dimmock. Catherine Marie Jensen. Dylan Elizabeth Richmond. Been there from the beginning. Sophia Katerina Caligiuri. Cece Rigby. Zainab 
Gassim Alsef. Stephanie Granados. Holly Nicole England. Cameron Kalani Shimata. Donald Reed Neal the second. Francesco Gori. Kyle Bruce Chamberlain. Isaac Stewart Landau. Prashanti Limbu. Bailey Keelan Wimes. Ash Lane Page. Swarnim Prabin Chetri. Matthew Ryan Kenny. Thomas O'Connor Cree. Yeah. Dylan Christopher Brown. John David Moore. <laughs> Kathleen Wynn. <laughs> Erica Minoshima. <laughs> Connor Mitchell Brown. Nicole Evenson. Jaron Ted Sear. Molly Taylor Marty. Elijah Andrew Park. Hannah Rose Wallace. Emily Christine Sorge. Alicia Romano. Maddie Alexa Rodriguez. Annabelle Jones. Haley Marie McGee. Madison Neubauer. Bryn Catherine Saylor. Peyton Julianne Prestwich.
Nora Ellen Healy. Ava Diane Johnson. Brooke Angelica Sundholm. McKenna Elizabeth Henderson. Bunny Kate Megan. Kenyon Kagi Ridiman. Phoebe Fung Tran. In Ing Wen. Corellis Alejandra Ruiz. Andrea Fluker. Wanjing Han. Naomi Mensa Coker. Teresa Gonzalez. Lindsay Steensma. Molly Zarina Cave. Eric Cunningham Nicholson. Reagan Christina Irish. Max Tate Marchand. Audrey Michelle Roosh. Carla S. Valero Mendoza. Tanisha Bejarano. Chloe Natalia Etheridge. Janessa Irene Bushman. Lauren McDonald. Talmadge Joseph Sanders. Shelby Diana Nevener. Isabel Nevis. Sarah Marie Hall. Courtney McCabe. Joseph Scott Beller. Margaret Siobhan Flynn.
Sandon Todd Sperry. Jasmine Rachel Massey. Luke Strauss Miller. David August Henry. Dylan Jones Scott. Isaac Joseph Chrisman. Gabrielle Shapiro. Eric Thomas Inahosa. Caitlin Webster. Kaylin Monahan. Joseph Alvarez. Joseph Alvarez. Please join me in a round of applause for these new graduates. Jess Lowe's chair of the Westminster Alumni Board to come to the podium and welcome the newest members of the Westminster College Alumni Association. Good morning. My name is Jessica Lowe's and I am the proud graduate of Westminster Chemistry class of 2009. <laughs> It is my privilege as this year's alumni board chair to welcome each of you into our alumni community. Westminster College is a place where faculty members know you by name and where friendships last a lifetime. One of Westminster alumni's main goals is to help you stay connected with your fellow graduates as well as cultivate new connections with others who have crossed this stage. Our alumni network is brimming with graduates who have used their Westminster education to pursue their dreams and to impact their communities. I would like to take this opportunity to feature a few of these graduates. Myra Rockwell, biology class of 2020, hit the ground running when COVID struck Utah. She now serves as the COVID-19 testing director working with her team of 20 to provide testing across Salt Lake County. She will be attending Penn State Medical School this fall. 
John Arthur, Master of Arts in Teaching and Master of Education, Class of 2013, was recognized as 2021 Utah Teacher of the Year and was one of four finalists for National Teacher of the Year. Yeah. John is a sixth grade teacher whose students have gained national recognition as advocates for children and immigrants through their videos they create and share on their YouTube channel. Emily Quinn, Master of Strategic Communication, Class of 2018, combines storytelling and her life experiences to educate the public about the intersex experience. While working at Cartoon Network, she helped create the first intersex main character on television and came out as intersex alongside her debut. And if you haven't already, you've got to check out Emily's TED Talk. Jamie Mo Crazy Crane Mosey, Communications Class of 2019, went from one of the best slope style free skiers in the world to relearning how to walk and talk after suffering a catastrophic fall during competition. Now she inspires others to overcome trauma and adversity through giving motivational speeches, working with charity groups such as the Utah Brain Injury Council and the National Ability Center, and has started her own nonprofit, Mo Crazy Strum. Now you've experienced a small sampling of our Westminster College alumni network. We are looking forward to see how each of you will add a little bit of something to our dynamic group. On behalf of the Westminster Alumni Board and our global community of over 25,000 alumni, I'd like to officially welcome you into our alumni family. We're so honored to have you join us. On Congratulations, class of 2022. I'd like to share a few final observations with you before we reach the end of these proceedings. For our students, before you leave, take a moment to recognize how you got here, to this place, to this day. Look at the seats that surround you. Find your family and friends. As you look at them, remember what they have done for you. Think of the support, love, and encouragement they have given you. They've seen you through the difficult times, and now they are here to applaud your success. Be sure to thank you. Thank them, I'm sorry. As a matter of fact, I thank them now. Let's do it. For the parents, grandparents, family members, and friends, thank you for trusting us with and supporting our graduates. Finally, as we draw these proceedings to a close, there is one final rite of passage. You may now move your tassel from the right to the left as a sign of your new degree. Congratulations, graduates. Will the platform party and the audience please rise and remain standing for the alma mater, which is sung and pre-recorded by members of the chamber singers. If you would like to follow along, the alma mater lyrics are printed on the back of your commencement program. At the conclusion of the alma mater, the platform party and faculty will depart, followed by our graduates. I ask that the audience remain in place until all the graduates have left the floor. Thank you for being here to help us honor Westminster's 2022 graduates. We sing, we sing.